What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Swipe Up 49, the 49th episode where I share some of my favorite posts from Instagram. Let's get it started with some movie news from Looper HQ. It's official, people. The Matrix 4 is coming out. A lot of the same actors are attached. Uh, Same director, uh, Lana Wachowski, which, you know, trans, now a trans woman. Um, Yeah. Way more. I mean, as far as excitement goes, I'm more excited for uh, a fourth film than I am a reboot. I don't know if they're still doing a reboot. There was... Uh, news like a week ago where Michael Bajordan was cast as the new Neo for the Matrix reboot. I don't know if those things are both going on simultaneously or if one is they're both the same thing and there's just some confusion as what they're calling it. Uh, But I would prefer a Matrix 4. Um, I didn't mind the second two matrices. The first one, of course, mind-blowing, one of the best action films ever made. Uh, Just uh, an all-around great movie of all time. Blew my mind. Blew my mind. One of the many movies that came out in 1999 that blew my... uh, There's so many good movies that year. Uh, So The Matrix 4, I'd be interested. I'd be interested, hopefully... Hopefully it's good. It'd be interesting to see where they go with it and what they do. Maybe Michael B. Jordan is like... Neo is breaking Michael B. Jordan out because, you know, it's going to get rebooted again or something. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. So, Carrie Ann Moss, Keanu Reeves. Uh, hopefully, more people will be attached to. Hopefully, the whole cast. Um, and hopefully, it doesn't take away from the John Wick series. Because uh, that's, that's almost been like a spiritual successor to the Matrix movies. Watching Keanu Reeves in more you know, more, I guess, realistic action moments. I mean, it's definitely over the top, but anyway, there is no spoon. Uh, So moving on, David Chensky. David Chen, the host of Culturally Relevant, the host of the Slash Film cast. He is a director. He is a podcast producer, podcast host. He works for Amazon uh, Prime Video, and uh, he just did a, a live reading of an offer, officer and a gentleman with John C. Riley at a theater up in uh, up in Washington where he lives. It's uh, John C. Riley and, of course, uh, his good old buddy, um, Stephen Tobolowski, which he used to do Tobolowski stories. They later did the movie. Uh, it's a, not a good name, but if you look up David Shen and Stephen Tobolowski, I forget. Primary Instinct, I think it's called. Sounds more like an action movie, but it's a one-man show, stage performance. Uh, but I love David Shen, man. He's he's an artist. He's uh, dips his fingers in a lot of different art forms. He's the literally the inspiration for me, the person that uh, put out information into the world, which allowed me to start podcasting over a decade ago. Uh, and it's amazing to see that he's still doing it and still doing other things. And I, I love seeing this. So uh, shout out to David Chen. I love you, buddy. Uh, and shout out to Jeff Kanata, man, going through emergency eye surgery, another host of the Slash Filmcast. Heal up quick. I'm not as worried. There's a lot of UFC fighters that have had detached retinas. And uh, they pretty much all come back. So I'm not, I'm not as scared as he seems to be, but I can only imagine when it happens uh, being scared of it. And, uh, yeah, a lot of love going to those guys. Uh, so moving on from, from, you know, just some good old art uh, stage performances to uh, different kinds of performances. This one from Sam Tripoli, uh, a well-cropped, positioned uh, thing of a cat through the arch of a woman's leg and the woman seems to be doing something very dirty. I don't know. I mean, I, you don't get to see, but she's clearly a cam girl going to work, uh, kind of using her foot to get the lube and the cat's just scared. The, the face on the cat while this whole thing is going on is just hilarious. And for those that don't know, Sam Tripoli, uh, one of the best stand-up comedians, uh, old school podcaster, um, does a stage uh, show called the variety show called the naughty show. I don't know if he still does them, but his 
with burlesques and strippers and comedians and sketches, really fun shows. Uh, but yeah, this is so it fits into his brand. This uh, this whole clip here, I feel bad for that cat, um, and I don't really feel bad for cats usually. All right, moving on to something that's just really crazy. Speaking of being in podcasting for over a decade, how basically these kits exists now to just turn iPads into basically studio production camera rigs, um, which I actually used to do this in high school. High school, my friend Brian and I would film the morning announcements using extremely old equipment, VHS tapes it would be recorded to, uh, but we used a green screen. We would bring people in from the uh, drama department to be the the anchors and... Uh, I got an A in accounting, and I never went to a class, but it was because I was filming the announcements. Um, and now we would just be using this stuff, uh, which is crazy. It's just crazy. It's crazy not only that transition, but also just the growth of podcasting and how it's so ubiquitous now through our culture versus not that long ago. It's annoying to have to explain to people what podcasting is, even though I had been doing it for five years. Uh, yeah, so podcasters, sponsors an ad, but it still like blew my mind. Uh, and then some artists on Artist Love, the guys from Plastic Cell showing some love to Dose Brack, who is, Dose Brack's just a great artist uh, and does a lot of UFC artwork, does a lot of, uh, yeah, mostly known for UFC stuff. And here's just, some recent amazing ones that he's done. Um, just a really, really great, both of them. And then Plastic Cell, they make little uh, miniature figurines of different cultural figures, whether they be martial artists, whether they be actors, whether they be hip hop artists, um, whether they be UFC, uh, Joe Rogan. Uh, they highly featured on Joe Rogan's podcast, Plastic Cell. Uh, they make great figurines and uh, just really cool kind of uh, the love here. Um, and Dosprak's kind of like one of those mythical creatures. He doesn't show his face. I think he's from Australia. Uh, but he always, he's always cranking out so much good work. I really like his work um, and his style. And, um, yeah, so that's it. That's it from this episode of Swipe Up. Uh, let me do some shout outs real quick. Shout out Looper HQ. Shout out David Chensky or Dave Chensky, my bad. Shout out Sam Tripoli. Shout out One More Jude. Shout out Pod Padcaster. Shout out Plastic Cell. Shout out Dose Brack. Thank you all for doing what you do and sharing your stuff on Instagram so I can regurgitate and share it on this show. Uh, new episodes of The Ray Taylor Show do come out every single day. You can subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. You can purchase my original artwork over at InspiredDisorder.com, and you can save 25% when you use coupon code RTS. Please go buy some artwork. I'm in desperate need of uh, some, some money, <laughs> and uh, there's a lot. There's over 800 paintings available to purchase there so do that save 25 percent rts at ray taylor is me on all social media have a wonderful day everybody peace out